As you know, I've got so much passion for the work of the charity and, and what's happened over the last 21 years, and particularly looking back from the 20th anniversary and what's been achieved. And, you know, the work continuing is, is what's important to me now. And stepping down, it's been a huge decision. Yeah. You know, I can't say that it hasn't. And I feel a range of emotions. Yeah. I feel sad, I feel happy, yeah. all like mixed together. But the thing that I feel the most, Emma, is that we've got the shared values, mm -hmm. you know, the values of the charity are so important to both of us. And without that, there wouldn't be, you know, the future that we, I know that we've got going forward. But you came into the charity more than five years ago, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. And I think that for us as a family, um, when my brother-in-law, Jamie, was diagnosed with a brain tumour, it was, the feelings of helplessness were, were kind of the, the hardest thing, yeah. um, that there was nothing really that could be done. And, you know, it's unbelievable to think that in these, you know, 10 years, 15 years apart of, of Paul and Jamie, not much had changed. Yeah. Um, and so actually to know that support is, is a constant you know, whilst we're hopefully waiting for other treatments and research, that support is needed now for those people that are being diagnosed. And for me, um, I needed to do something practically. I needed to get involved. And, and so I got involved with the charity to help out with some fundraising ideas. And for me, that was a way to channel yeah. the frustration and the anger and the hurt and that anticipatory grief that we talk about as a charity. Absolutely. Um, because I needed to feel like I was doing something because I couldn't change what was happening. Mm. Um, you know, so I think that 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 passion drives me and very similar to what you were saying around you know your your be your involvement with the clinical nurse specialist identified ways that we could support people i think as a charity one of our real strengths is so how we work with families to understand their stories yeah. um and that drives what we do yeah and it and it really you know each family that we we have the privilege of coming into contact with have a different story and a different need and I think for us as a charity to shape our services around that is so vital it's so important so you know from from family experience both you and I it's it's driving us but actually it's all of the people that are diagnosed that shape our charity absolutely and I think that that's that's a real you know it's a really special element of what we do